Hey there, Louis Ecobalis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to enable public preview in the Microsoft Teams desktop application. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials that I publish. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. Now, before we get started, I thought it would be useful to just explain what the public preview program is. The Microsoft Teams public preview program allows users to gain early access to unreleased features for the purposes of testing them out. Now, it's important to note that public preview is actually enabled at a user level. So that means that a user actually has to opt in to participate in the public preview. Now, the public preview program is awesome to test out features that have been announced and that are not generally available, but it's also important to note that those features may be incomplete, may have bugs or other issues that might disrupt or impact your user experience. Now, let's go ahead and let's check out how to enable the public preview program in Microsoft Teams. All right, now very quickly before I show you how to enable public preview, I want to draw your attention to what the Microsoft Teams application interface looks like before you actually enable this. Now, very quickly, if I draw your attention to my profile picture or the initials of my account, so here you can see LI and my status icon, which is the green little check mark, what you're going to notice is that there is no little P icon in the upper right corner of this account icon. Now, when you actually enable public preview, you are going to see a little P in the top right corner of this icon, and that's going to indicate that you have opted in to the public preview program. Now, the next thing that I'll draw your attention to is in the settings menu. If I scroll down to about, you can see here in the sub menu that public preview is not listed, okay? Now, the reason for this and what I'm about to show you is in order to opt into the public program, a Microsoft Teams administrator, someone who has access to the Microsoft Teams admin portal has to actually go in and create a policy that says this user is permitted to actually join or opt into the public preview program. So if you can't see the option in your Teams app, then contact your Microsoft Teams administrator and ask them to grant you permission to access the public preview program. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to actually create that policy in the Teams Admin Center. And again, if you're just a regular Teams user, you probably don't have access to the Admin Center, so this is something you want to ask your Microsoft Teams admin to do for you. All right, now you can see here that I am in the Microsoft Teams Admin Center. Now, the first thing that you want to do here is you want to click on Teams, and you want to click into Teams Update Policies. Now, when you click into the Teams update policies, depending on the settings of your organization, you might have already created multiple policies or you might just see this one global org-wide default policy. Now, a policy essentially governs or determines what kind of features you get access to in Microsoft Teams in terms of the different update settings, in terms of how frequently these updates get pushed out to you. Now, a policy essentially controls whether or not you can get access to pre-release features. So Microsoft actually has a developer program where you can get early, early access to features. Uh, and then the public preview program allows you to get access to features that are almost ready to be pushed into general availability. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and create a new policy now to do that, you want to click on the add button and you want to give your update policy a name. I'm just going to call this public preview and you can put it in a description if you want. Ultimately, what you want to do here is come down to the show preview features field and you want to select enabled. Once you've selected enabled, you want to click on apply. And you can see here that this new policy has been created and you'll notice that preview features are enabled. Now, in order to assign this to specific users, you want to select it and then you want to click on manage users. And here you can actually search for the specific users that you want to grant access to public preview through assigning them this particular update policy. 
Now I'm just going to go ahead and add this policy to both of my accounts here. And once you've done that, you wanna go ahead and click apply. And you can see here now that the users I selected have been added into this policy and that they'll be able to go ahead and access preview features. Now important note when making changes to these policies, um, it can actually take some time to synchronize and to actually push into the team's desktop application. Uh, sometimes it has occurred instantaneously for me and other times it's taken even up to 24 hours. So my recommendation is if you're performing these steps, give it at least a day if you're not seeing the changes push through in the Microsoft Teams desktop application. Uh, and if it extends beyond 24 hours and you wanna come back, uh, delete the policy and try again. All right, now that we've created the policy and assigned it to the specific users, the next step is to have those specific users go ahead, log out of Microsoft Teams, and then log back into the application. That is a necessary step to actually receive these updates. I've already gone ahead and logged out and back in, and now I'm going to scroll up to the very top and click on the settings button here, and I'm gonna come down and click into the about menu, and what you can see now is that public preview is enabled. So to enable the public preview program, you wanna go ahead and click on public preview and you're going to get this prompt here that is essentially just warning you that the features that you'll experience in public preview are not complete and you may experience bugs or issues with them. So again, you just wanna go ahead and read that prompt and acknowledge that again, these are not complete features. And to go ahead and turn this on, you want to click on switch to public preview. What you're going to notice is that Microsoft Teams is going to close and reopen. And once it reloads, you are going to have opted into the public preview program. And you're going to notice that just in the top right-hand corner of your account profile is a little P icon uh, that again indicates that you've opted in or switched to the public preview program. Now, while my app is still loading, you can see here the little P icon at the very top of the account or profile picture icon. And again, that's indicating that the public preview program uh, has been turned on for this specific Microsoft Teams desktop application. So that's it. This was just a quick tutorial showing you how to enable the Microsoft Teams public preview program so that you can get early access to new features. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials and on the latest Microsoft Teams feature announcements. I'm Louis Yacobelis. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.